WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the 9 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. And we're looking at on the 16th of March, Wednesday, and Fed Speak Day. You've got to be careful about that. We're looking at the Dow Futures up 309 points. Nice move, but you really established some kind of a, a more, in, not just short term, but kind of short term to not even intermediate term, but even just a two week rally, a one and a half week rally. We need to see the, uh, the Dow itself closing one or two days above 34,069, the 200 period moving average, preferably 34,150. That's going to take a lot of work to do. We'll see how that works out. You're looking at the, uh, I'm looking at the E-mini continuous contract up 42 at 42.96. It needs to get above the 200 period moving average of 43.61 and hold above that for a couple of days to say, ah, now there's a there's a longer term rally, meaning maybe a week and a half or two. Looking at the um, NQ, the NQ is the uh, NDX 100 E mini Nasdaq uh, continuous contract. We're looking at it up 194 at 36 6, the resistance at 14,000 is very strong, going to 14,000. I don't know what it's going to take, but it needs at least to get there. And all of them, of course, have, have to hold the support from yesterday. The IWM, which is the Russell 2000, that is, the small caps, is doing quite nicely. It's just stuck in a range, and the range gets smaller and smaller. It's at 197.65, up $1.87. Of course, it's 9 o'clock. Who knows what's going to be at? three o'clock this afternoon after fed speak but we are looking at gold which is come back a little bit but it is down eight at 1921 um it needs to hold 1900 Co closes under 1900 says just for now gold is not in play but i think it will be back in play in a little while looking at crude oil crude oil itself is up 2.22 at 98.67 this is a good balance but it has had a spectacular um, break in it Eiffel Tower straight up, straight down pattern from the 130.50 um, high of the 7th. And we're looking at it now at 98.77. The real issue, and I spent some time in my show that was pre recorded this morning, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. It'll be replayed at 10 Eastern Time so this, uh, today. Um, it's at 131. The, the, bond, the TLT has done all the work for the Fed already. It's already seen rates move very much higher. All they have to do is formalize it. Uh, have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien coming up next at Market Kickoff. Fabulous show. 